uh, motion. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I am a member of the SBC and uh, a champion of this idea that we need to return uh, this house to the grassroots so that we can maintain that uh, contact with the people. Mr. Speaker, as a new member of this house, I have actually felt the insulation that you get when you walk into this chamber because you are aware that first of all, apart from me and maybe my brothers from Kiambu, Machakos and Kajiado, if you are talking to the senator of Turkana, it's a very far distance from Turkana to here. And sometimes that's, that distance, coupled with uh, the security arrangements that we have in this particular place, you can feel extremely insulated from what actually the people are telling us. I am a firm believer that there has to be constant contact between representatives of the people and the people themselves, and especially in controversial times such as we live in, uh, Mr. Speaker. I would have loved, uh, Mr. Speaker, to see more engagements in more counties. In fact, I agree with my colleagues here who have proposed that we need to increase the sort of sittings that we have in a year so that we can cover uh, more, more of these counties. Let us not fear the people. In fact, Mr. Speaker, it would be extremely interesting uh, if the history of this Senate machinani is anything to go by, for us to be able to go back and do the business that we transact in this house in close proximity with the people. I believe that uh, the closer you are to the fire, the faster you cook. And Mr. Speaker, there have been decisions here that have been taken by some of our colleagues which we disagree with strongly. I would love to see those decisions being made in the presence of the people because sometimes I can come here and claim that I speak for the people of Nairobi. When I know for a fact that if I went to uh, Ofafa Jericho tomorrow to say that yes, I support demolition of Ofafa Jericho so that uh, new houses can be constructed there, I will be lynched. I will not even be able to leave that uh, estate because the people of Ofafa Jericho have given express instructions that as far as they are concerned, they don't want their estate to be demolished. I would love to see a situation, Mr. Speaker, that critical votes on critical issues affecting Mwanainchi are actually done in the presence of Mwanainchi. If we were able to allow the public to come into this gallery from all the 290 constituencies, for instance, Mr. Speaker, during the vote on the division of revenue, I can assure you it would be a very interesting vote. I would love to see, Mr. Speaker, even as we go to the vote on the finance bill in the National Assembly, how I wish the National Assembly followed the example of the Senate and actually held their sittings in the constituencies during the vote on the finance bill. What's Mr. Speaker. The, Senator Chirake? You know, my good uh, uh, friend, Senator uh, Edwin Sifuna is a very serious legal practitioner in this country. Mr. Speaker, understanding 105, uh, standing order number 105, and also under our constitution about the exercise uh, on behalf, Mr. Speaker. Under the constitution, Mr. Speaker, the sovereignty of the people is either exercised directly or indirectly. Does Senator Sifuna want to tell Kenyans that the fact that the great people of Nairobi have elected him to represent them in the Senate, he wants again to abdicate that authority that has been given to go ahead and also call the great people of Nairobi to come to this house to vote on their own behalf, Mr. Speaker? Is it in order to mislead the public that we are voting or exercising authority on our own behalf. Yet he knows that all of us were elected to represent the interests indirectly as provided by the Constitution of Kenya, Mr. Speaker. Is it in order? Senator Sifuna, you take note of the comments under that particular standing order by Senator Chiraki. Mr. Speaker, with, with the greatest respect to my uh, younger colleague in the professional, the Honorable Senator Fonandi, I do believe that I understand this document quite well, the Constitution of Kenya. There is a reason why the frame has expressed the delegated authority as exercisable directly or indirectly, Mr. Speaker. And all I was saying is that on critical matters affecting Mwanainchi, I think he was not in here when I was talking about the sort of insulation that I feel 
insulation from the people when you are in this chamber. Because of the layers of security, because of the distance from home, sometimes you feel that you can say things here and by the time you travel to your constituency, you will have sent people to convince people not to heckle you. Mr. Speaker, all I am saying is this. I, as a representative of a people, would want nothing more than the people to know what it is that I do in this house, which is why we even have parliamentary broadcasting services, so that the people can see if it is indeed true that the things that you are saying on the floor here are not your own things, but the, people that, the things that the people sent you. I gave him an example of Fafa Jericho because, Mr. Speaker, we in Nairobi here are in the process of redeveloping old city council estates. I was in Fafa Jericho and they told me that for them, they view this redevelopment different from the people, say, in Woodley, the people in Bahati. All I am saying is, on that critical day when a decision is being taken, I am sure, and I know because I'm also a politician, that the mood would be very